Hey guys, couple things real quick. First, I apologize for the sound of my voice. Feeling kind of crummy right now. Turns out working with fiberglass insulation, blowing it into an attic and all of that is not easy on the lungs. So um, even though we wore protective masks and stuff like that, a lot of it still got in and basically caused me some issues right now. Um, but we'll make it through, <clears throat> through it, excuse me. Um, just bear with me on the rough sounding voice. Um, Quick update for you in regards to my mom. We had some phenomenal news there where um, she had her first big test last Friday. And in Christmas miracle fashion, we were given the news that there was no sign of the cancer whatsoever. Everything looked good. And now she's got just some follow-up rounds of chemo and some things to do there. And um, preventative measures to see if they can help make sure it doesn't come back as best they can. So absolutely amazing news um i do want to say thank you to all of you who had sent you know thoughts and well wishes and prayers uh it's very much appreciated not just by me but of course by my mom and the rest of my family as well and you know we continue to keep our fingers crossed that things don't come back so photography wise something i wanted to talk about i saw a message from uh, an instagram and twitter friend of mine named brian manier a uh, fantastic photographer based out of michigan if you haven't seen him or don't know his work please please go check him out he is fantastic i'll try and link him up below in the show notes he's just really really excellent work and he's just amazing with color so um, i think you'll dig him but he made a post yesterday um, kind of posing the question to his followers on Instagram, <clears throat> excuse me, about, you know, if, if we've taken a chance to look back at what our favorite photos were from 2016, now that we're at the end of the year. And it made me think, I, I normally don't do that that often. I don't go back in and, and check these things out. But um, I went back because he, he got me thinking and wondering because I felt like I've kind of grown this year a bit as a photographer. I've taken a few steps forward. I've learned some new things. I've gotten more comfortable kind of just putting myself out there as well. And I wanted to see <clears throat> what would come up um, taking a chance to look back. So I didn't dive into my full catalog. I just kind of flipped back through my Instagram feed over the last year. And I found an image that jumped out at me right away and I'd forgotten about it until I looked. And, you know, it was an image that I've been trying to make for the last five or six years or more where I had a scene, I knew the location I wanted, but I just never could get the right weather conditions and things like that and got very lucky and fortunate in, in repeated visits to that place over the, you know, the last number of years, finally got the weather conditions and lighting as close as I think I'm going to get to what I wanted there. So, um, pretty awesome, you know, to, to have something like that happen, but, um, you know, it made me wonder how many of us, you know, you guys or myself, I know I normally don't, but how many of us take the time each year to go through the, you know, that year's photographs and look through and see what jumps out at us. Maybe we learn something about, you know, how we tend to shoot. Maybe our shooting style has changed. Maybe our editing style has changed. More importantly, maybe our eye has developed and we're seeing things differently or we're noticing different things and you know subject matters change whatever it might be but it's a really interesting thought and something that I, I think I'm going to have to do in a little more detail um <clears throat> excuse me to try and you know get a little better understanding of what I've accomplished this year in a sense um try and notify myself of those areas on where I maybe have gotten stronger or areas where maybe I've actually gotten a little weaker and need to focus on, on getting a little better with too. So it's always kind of cool to look back and, and it's uh, something that I myself don't do that often. So I'm curious to hear from you guys what you guys think, how often you look back on your work and, you know, will go through and kind of reassess the year in review, so to speak. And then you know, what do we do with it? I know a lot of people will put a, a big blog post up of these are my favorite photos of 2016 or, you know, different things like that. Share them on their websites or Instagram or special galleries. Maybe if I, if I get a chance to do it, maybe I'll take some time looking through over the next week or so as we close out the year and try and pick out a handful of my favorites. And maybe we'll do just a video of that one day sometime before the end of the year or right at the start of the new year and I'll go through and break down and talk about um, 
each image a little bit, why I picked it as a favorite, where areas that I feel I've grown or changed or things like that. So it might be kind of a fun idea to do. And I encourage you guys, if you do have something like that going on where, um, you know, you're going to go through and review it and, and do something like that, send me a link to a gallery or whatever else it might be and, and share those up so other people can see the things that you've been most proud of, I guess you'd say, through this last year. So I'm going to get going. I feel like garbage. I'm going to go home, lay down and relax, try and get rid of this thing that's going on um, and deal with that. But you guys take care. Have a great afternoon and I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>